You see, if you have an account disabled or a user suspended in your Google Workspace account, and someone tries to email that account, they're gonna receive a bounce back. The bounce back will say something along the lines of, this mailbox is unavailable or this user is suspended. What that means is anyone who's trying to send you email will be notified that their email was not delivered. My work emails have stopped coming through and I need access to them. How long does it take to have everything reconnected? If right now your emails have stopped, you most likely have an issue with your DNS settings. Maybe you stop paying your bill in your workspace account. That's always a good one to check first. For nine times out of 10, someone's changed something in their DNS. Your domain name has expired, or maybe someone changed some settings, or you were migrating a website, or your web developer or one of your staff changed something, and all of a sudden your emails have stopped. Now, if you need to learn how to fix your DNS records, I've got plenty of guides, and I'll drop a link down below this video to get you access to one of our guides on fixing, checking, and repairing your DNS. But if you wanna know how long it takes for the emails to come back through, that's slightly more complicated. You see, if you have an account disabled or a user suspended in your Google Workspace account, and someone tries to email that account, they're gonna receive a bounce back. The bounce back will say something along the lines of, this mailbox is unavailable or this user is suspended. What that means is anyone who's trying to send you email will be notified that their email was not delivered. And that lets them know that it didn't get through and it's not gonna try and resend it. But if you have something going on with your DNS and maybe the records are missing or incorrectly configured, in some cases, an email will be paused and other email servers will attempt to re-deliver your email over a number of days. Now, different servers have different settings. Typically, you can expect between two and five days for an email to be retried. And even if you go and fix your settings, so if you imagine a door being shut when your emails weren't working and your door being opened again, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone is going to immediately retry to send that because they're gonna be retrying sending on their own schedule. So what that means is if you've had an outage in your emails, in some cases, it may take up to a week for previous emails to be re-delivered. Now, in most cases, emails don't just completely disappear off the face of the earth. You might not be receiving all of your emails right now if you've got an outage of some sort in your account, but in most cases, emails will either receive a bounce back saying that this email was not able to be delivered or it'll be eventually delivered, even if it takes up to a week. So if you've had an outage of some sort, Unfortunately, once it's fixed, the easiest thing to do is sit tight and wait for those emails to come through one by one. And there's not much else you can do apart from be patient. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.